channel. Today I have a tag video for you all. It's going to be the Lip Product Addict tag. I was tagged by two of my lovely friends here on YouTube, April and Vicky. So thank you to you both for tagging me. I am so, so grateful. And I'll link their channels down below, of course. So definitely go check them out. So I must admit, like, when I started YouTube, and that was maybe about, I don't know, like the end of last year, like Christmas time, I wasn't like obsessed with lip products. Like I had a few, but I wasn't like obsessed. But now it's like, I'm literally obsessed. Like it's ridiculous how many lipsticks and lip products I've accumulated in such a short span of time. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I am definitely addicted to lipstick and I'm so glad that I'm able to do this tag. So that's enough of me rambling. Let's get into the questions. So question number one is, what is your favorite balm or treatment? Now I have two slash a few more than two, but I love the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. Um, I have the fragrance free version, which I do prefer over the fragranced version, not because of the smell, but because of the texture. I feel like this is a bit more thick and a bit more, it's less runny and I just like it better on the lips, but either one's fine. I like them both. And then I also love the Carrez lip butters. I have them in like the little tub as well as like the little sticks, but basically these are just so moisturizing. I have this one in the jasmine flavor and literally I've used this so, so much. Like you can just barely see inside it. Like I'm literally touching the bottom of it. Like I am so surprised of how long it lasted. I use it every single day. I take it to work and it constantly sits on my desk. So yeah. <laughs> and then I also like them in the squeezy tube. To be fair, I think the squeezy tube is a little bit harder to use. I know that sounds weird, but it's just because it's like it's such a thick product that it's just really, really hard to get out. But either way, I love the product. It's so, so good. And again, that is the Carrez Lip Butters. Okay, so, okay, so question number two is, what is your favorite eye-catching red? Now, I don't think I've ever done a tag and stuck by the rules, so I have three. The first one is the Maybelline Bold Matte Lipstick in the shade Matte 6. This is what the color looks like. It's just a really, really nice, sophisticated deep red. I feel like deep reds complement my skin tone so much more. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite reds and I have filmed a video with this one, so I'll link that down below. This isn't a lipstick, but it is a very, very pigmented lip gloss. Um, this is the Lime Crime Carousel Gloss in the shade Cherry on top. I absolutely love this red. It's super, super pigmented, and I really like how it feels on the lips. This does have glitter in it, or fine shimmer in it, so if you don't like that, you probably wouldn't like this, but I absolutely adore it. It is probably one of my favorite reds, and like, I just love it so, so much. And then my last favorite red would have to be the Australis Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream in the shade NYC. I've also filmed a video using this as well, so I will link that down below. But yeah, I absolutely adore these. These are so, so good. They're very, very similar in concept to the Lime Crime Velveteens, but these I prefer more over those. So yeah, obsessed with this one. It is so, so good. It's about $8. Go pick it up. You need it in your life. Question number three is best luxury and drugstore products. I have so many favorite drugstore products. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to try and mention as many as I can, but if I've forgotten any, then I'm sorry, but yeah. First are these Revlon Matte Balm Stains. I have Elusive and Shameless. I do use Elusive more, that's just because I'm more drawn to pinks, but I do like mixing these together. It makes a really, really pretty color. But basically, I love these because they're matte, they're amazing pigmentation, and they last a very, very long time. So I absolutely love these. They're great value for money. Wait until like Priceline does like buy one get one free or like Chemist Warehouse does 50% off. I just think these are really, really good bargain. Australis Velour Lips, I absolutely love these. I own three colors. I own Malibu, NYC and Paris. Um, I must admit that Malibu is a little bit unwearable, at least for me, but I'll try and make it work because it's like a fluoro pink. But Paris is probably one of my favorite nudes ever. They last so well on the lips. They're like a creamy texture. Like they just have a lip gloss applicator and they just apply to the lips so, so, so nicely. I have a few videos using these. So if I can find a few, then I'll link them down below. And then some more drugstore favorites. I love the Maybelline 
bold matte lipsticks. I have the shade 7 and the shade 6. So 7, wait, yeah, 7 is like one of my favorite nudes along with that Paris shade. It is so, so beautiful. You must check it out. And then 6, which I showed you before, which is just that really, really beautiful red color. These are really, really beautiful. They're not a drying matte. They're a very creamy matte, just like how the Revlon Matte Balm Stains are. And then two more. These are the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet Lip Gloss Stain things. They're basically very, very similar to like the YSL Glossy Stains and stuff like that, where they just have a little doe foot applicator and you just apply them to the lips and they offer your lips a little bit of a stain and it just makes your lips look really, really beautiful. I really enjoy them. I own two, the shades five and the shade seven. I do enjoy five more than I do seven, but yeah, I love them both. They're really, really, really good. So for this category, I have decided to go with more like formulation instead of colors, just because everyone has their different color preferences. And like I go through stages where I'm obsessed with pinks, I'm obsessed with like dark colors. Um, so this is basically just formulations that I love. So for best luxury lipsticks, I don't think that I could go past without saying MAC. Like, I don't think that I would own this many if I didn't enjoy their formulation. So yeah, MAC is definitely up there with some of my favorites. And then also the NARS lipstick, I only own one of these. This is, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but it's spelled S-C-H-I-A-P. Is that Scappy? <laughs> I'm not too sure, but it's just like the most brightest blue base pink. It's not as bright as Malibu, but it is a very, very bright pink color, which I love. The next question is best MAC lipstick. Now, I'm obsessed with MAC lipsticks. They are my addiction. I have way too many, but I have picked out four that I really, really enjoy wearing. My most worn would have to be Cream Cup by MAC. It's what I have on my lips right now. And it's just this shade here. It's so, so, so good. And I just love it. It's just a perfect pink color, especially if you are more pale or more of a fairer skin tone. I really, really like that one. And it's super hydrating. I also love Sin. Sin is so beautiful. I also have a video using that. So I'll link that down below as well. It's just a super, super dark color. It's everything that I wanted Rebel to be. But yeah, I love this. So beautiful. I love pink plaid. This is so beautiful. I think I used this in one of my early videos, so if I can find it, I'll link it down below. And then Honey Love. I really, really like this one. This one's a newer one of mine, but I really, really, really enjoy it. But overall, with my MAC lipsticks, I wouldn't buy it if I didn't like it. So yeah, that's just a few that I picked out. Question number five is most disappointing lip products, and I must have to say, it is these Face of Australia Lip Quench SPF 30 Plus moisturizing lipsticks with shea butter and jojoba oil. These stink. Like they just smell so bad. Like they smell like old lady and ugh. And they like literally last on your lips for like two minutes and then they're like gone. And all you can taste is like this perfume smell. Even when you eat, it's so disgusting. And even when the color's gone away, this like the taste is still on your lips. It's disgusting. I hate these. Like apparently they reformulated them so they don't have that smell anymore, but mm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Question number six, lip liner, yes or no? Yes, I love lip liner. Um, in specific, I'm obsessed with the Chi Chi lip liners at the moment. I really, really like these. These are really, really, really good. The next question is favorite gloss. And oh my God, coming from a girl that didn't think that she loved lip gloss, I picked out a lot of them. <laughs> so again, I am gonna go by formula instead of by color, just because everyone does have different preferences. So some of my favorites are the NYX Mega Shine Lip Glosses. I love, love, love these. They're so good. They're really, really pigmented as well, so you could use them alone, and they're just so, so, so beautiful. So I absolutely recommend these 100%. They're so, so good, and they smell amazing. I also love the Revlon Color Burst Lip Glosses. I love, love, love these. These do have a little bit of shimmer in them, but I guess it does depend on the color that you buy, but I do think these are really, really, really nice. You gotta love the Carousel Glosses by Lime Crime. They're amazing, so, so, so good. And then my favorite lip gloss ever is the Inglot's Inglot Sleek's lip gloss in the shade number 43. This is literally like 
NARS Albatross in a lip gloss. It is so, so beautiful and it will complement every lipstick that you wear. I just dab it in the center of my lips and it looks so, so, so beautiful. So the very last question is something else. And I'm not really too sure what they mean by this, so I'm just going to include a lip plumper. This is the NYX Plump It Up lip plumper in the shade Pamela. Basically it just goes on clear and I just use it to plump up my lips just a tiny little bit and it does the job really really well. So guys that was the end of the tag. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll definitely tag some girls down below to this tag so definitely check down there and yeah I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!